Hello guys, welcome to my channel Oracle Apex Academy and uh, after such a long time I get uh, some you know relief from the work so I'm creating a new video and the sequence of uh, whatever uh, you know we have uh, started uh, few days back that was a shopping cart and uh, in this video we are going to continue with that so let me just log in into my environment that is our tricks okay fine so the application name uh, for this one is ecom and let me just uh, go down to this one okay fine see there are a number of products already there uh, but uh, before uh, you know going through this screen I'm going to start with the administration part so let me uh, log in as an admin oh yeah see so we have different categories uh, so what I've done is I've created some categories under which we can create a product and you can also view our total orders so let me take you to this create direct category here we have you know the some categories were there so uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can create some parent categories you know uh, it might be uh, directly you can uh, you know uh, go through the database and insert some data so once you do that let's say uh, if we have the some parent category so you have to uh, you know uh, go to the table or else you can also create uh, you know uh, some separate page for uh, creating this parent category also so let me just uh, computers and subcategory would be like uh, headphones so I need some images let me just set any of it just create so the category has been created now so now after the category we can create some product under under that particular thing let me just have uh, you know one uh, what we can have uh, we can have something like uh, images of headphones maybe so it uh, might look good let me take this one save uh, image let me save this one as one and save yes done and now let me go to the create product so here we are create, going to create a product which we want to display in our you know uh, application let's say if we run this application so currently we don't have any headphones you know, we have this section like uh, headphones but if you click on this one we won't be able to identify anything because we don't have that particular thing currently right so let me take you out again okay now so i'm clicking on this create product so let me go to create category id, ID would be headphones now product code you can give anything product name would be headphones price would be let's say 500 image we can set uh, like uh, whatever we have downloaded this one and color is black size is regular product detail headphones dual jack right let me let's click on add product so see so now my product has been added so now if you run this application you would be you know uh, able to see that product you can also modify the product from here okay it's just a simple thing so now let me take you to this third option which we have in the admin section that is the uh, orders so once you create order so what we uh, what I have done over here is I'm maintaining the session ID so per session we are getting the uh, you know orders so uh, obviously session will be only for a single entity so on the basis of that you can identify the number of order that you have received right currently currently we don't have any order like you know uh, as on for today as I have not placed any order so fine so this is the part you know of uh, you know admin so let me take you to this uh, now main page where the user is going to be interrupted now before that see uh, let's say some user is coming first time onto this particular application so obviously they don't have their uh, you know account so what I've done is you can you know go and uh, create account from here 
so this is the next thing uh, that we I'm going to display is the create a new account so from here already test is there let me just create uh, another account let me call a uh, user maybe last thing would be name anything would be fine user at yahoo.com would be your email id and uh, password would be user only create so account has been created user okay so let me log in using that user at the rate yahoo.com password word was user if we sign in so now i'm logged in as you know that user as user right so now we have a headphone see number of products were there see so now you you will be able to see the headphones right okay fine so let me take you to that initial thing where we have started so oh yes how we are going to work on this one this one so today in this uh, video i'm going to show you the admin panel we are starting from the create category then product and then orders let me just show you the table structure its product category so initially we required uh, see that depends i'm uh, i'm having my own requirements so i have uh, made this table as such but uh, you can bifurcate it like let's say if you have the categories and you might be having a master category you know uh, if you don't want to uh, work directly on the database you can also create your you know another table another uh, table and plus with the table with uh, forms and a report so that you will be able to you know add some uh, master details also so here i have category id i have a parent category and sub category and category image so what uh, this category image i'm uh, able to see uh, let's say here on the first page right so whatever the category image you have specified let's say soft toys so i have set this particular image so once you have uh, uploaded any image over these the this one while creating a category that will be over here right so this is the category part here next is a product part so this is this one product detail so there are number of things like product id is there category id obviously this is a foreign key and product code then we have product name price i have set some product images it might be possible that you want to run you know and uh, some amazon and such uh, you know applications where you allow a user to you know uh, uh, hover on a particular uh, uh, you know image and you can show uh, multiple image under the one category yeah that you can implement that's for your requirement there's a product color then size details parent category and sub category i have divided this you know uh, when uh, you uh, what i have done over here is i have set this menus you know uh, it's a by default menus but uh, you can uh, you know update and delete as per your requirements but uh, once you categorize this particular things then on the basis of this two things category parent category and sub category i am displaying the images uh, into uh, you know particular sections if uh, that particular section have a uh, you know product then it will definitely show uh, let's say uh, currently uh, i don't know where i have put those certain the uh, saris i uh, don't have any currently let me just one okay so this kind of you know thing you can implement if you are uh, you know want to uh, display certain images into that uh, environment okay fine so that is the uh, uh, product uh, detail and the last one that is the total orders so how we are getting that so that uh, total order that is of ecom order product okay so that contains an order id a primary key product code we have product id we have product name the rate quantity user id the uh, person who have logged in then session id and order status c why have kept this order status let's say currently it's confirmed right so now if i click on this one and if i change the order status order complete complete order then that would be delete from here see this architecture 
uh, the person who required this particular thing uh, have a specific requirement like he's not you know uh, having any payment gateway or something he just need to get orders from the users you know so once he get the user he will identify from this particular list and at the end of the day he will uh, check each and every orders like uh, this order ID is there for this particular item rate is this one and it's completed right so complete order so when it is completed then that order is uh, delivered right so that user can maintain this graph once that uh, once the user admin is just uh, you know uh, 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 clicking on this one and uh, click on this particular complete order then that would uh, order will be considered as a complete right so it is delivered so these are the product which is currently pending for the delivery as you know the data is not uh, there because it's a uh, raw data so that's why it's uh, something like this but uh, ultimately the uh, you know the user end user can see able to understand that you know uh, that admin can understand that this order i have received and uh, once he click on complete that that word will be uh, completed so ultimately we are changing the order status okay uh, once uh, the user uh, click on that particular button right okay fine so before we move uh, let me just go to here and let's just go to the page now it's obviously a simple page we don't have any you know complex architecture on this page so there is one report okay it's an interactive report as you can see over here here so once you click on create uh, we have a uh, create category ID let me click on this one okay then we have parent category ID we have parent category it's a select list obviously and under that select list we have some queries so we are selecting the parent category as a display value we want to have a parent category as return value also but from the table where subcategory is null see why I fired this particular query let's just go to this one uh, categories and data so see uh, where subcategories are null means ke if uh, if we consider uh, if I'm making see uh, headphones I think we have recent entry of that one let me just uh, yes this one so under the you know computers we have a latest entry of this one headphones okay that is under the computers but as I don't want to display all the data right so let's I don't want uh, this computer to be displayed multiple times so that's why I've uh, written that you know if the subcategories is the null right then uh, we want to display that particular category right so uh, what I've suggested you can create uh, uh, your uh, you know, own parent category form also the same as this one and it will be displayed the uh, categories also fine there is a subcategory obviously that's a text event and we have a blog there is a file browser and we have create insert update delete and it's a process for this one it's an automatic DML so the data would be stored into the categories table okay fine uh, so I'm uh, taking a pause over here and uh, in the upcoming video I'm going to show you about uh, this product how this uh, product has been created total orders and how this architecture is uh, working so uh, completed on this one and later on we will be moving uh, towards the uh, page of this particular page right so how the data is coming on this page how we are able to you know see the details let me add to cart and the product quantity let's say five and add to cart and go to cart place order and confirm so the order is in place i uh, hope you like this video and uh, just subscribe this one and for the new upcoming videos i'm going to share all the, i'm actually uh, you know going to explain all the steps uh, for implementation of this kind of application thank you thank you so much